venture into the pop culture cosmos today, where you'll hear our conversations on different topics within the world of movies, TV, video games, comic books, technology, board gaming, and more. You'll also get a taste of some of our other shows within the cosmos as well. So come on and join us each week as we delve into the pop culture cosmos. Welcome to the pop culture cosmos. Welcome to Topicocalypse, where four, sometimes more, educated and or opinionated people gather around a table to discuss random topics for your amusement. I'm your host, Josh, and I'm gathered. Or I'm joined here today by Jake, Jasmine, JB, and the usual suspects, Daniel and Eddie. JB, what do you got for us, man? Uh, the topic of generationism, like where we judge like generations based on like millennials, baby boomers, um, and now Gen X coming up. And I was reading an article, it was actually a BuzzFeed thing, going down and blaming millennials for ruining companies and making companies go out of business. And one of the things I saw was that it was uh, millennials' fault that bar soap sales were declining because we don't use bar soap, we use liquid soap. And I thought that's ridiculous because I don't even buy soap, my mom does. (laughs) (laughs) And it's bar soap. Well, then if you're not using bar soap, then therefore you're also fault for the decline of washcloths and the rise in loofahs. How dare you! I know. Dude, loofahs that's weird. I buy nothing but bar soaps. It's so I need for me to use. I don't shower as a problem. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you, so you're the reason. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> um, but I think just looking at like that, where it's like, I was having a discussion with my friend today and talk, just talking about how it's all like the millennials fall and then millennials like to put it back on baby boomers and now um, we have this new um, generation which your kids are in it's gen whatever gen x or gen y gen y whatever they call it right right there i think that's a bad thing because after you get to gen z someone's gonna feel left out someone's gonna be offended see i thought it went gen x gen y gen z then millennials so i'm just completely confused i am too but i'm just like everyone likes to blame everyone for something and I think like we have these fidget spinners now where it's like, this is like, I didn't even know about it. I'm a millennial and I'm like, what is this? And it's like these, all these kids are playing with it in school. And it's like, when we were in school, it's like, if you were told to put something away, it's like, you just put it away. We're now, I was talking earlier about a podcast that I heard and um, the, the, they were interviewing a teacher about how kids are now being prescribed these from doctors to use them in class. And I'm like, are we really like that weak that we have to let our kids take these things to school because they can't manage their ADD? Well, well yes, because you're also, those are also the same parents that blame the teachers for the kids getting a D when the kid isn't doing uh, the work. So now it's to the point where I have a bunch of friends, you know, all my old teachers are, are uh, high school football coaches. They're still teachers, and they get called into the principal's office for, quote-unquote, bullying a kid Mm -hmm. for saying, you're screwing up, you're messing up your life by not doing the homework and not paying attention. The parents come in, go to the school board. Mm -hmm. Now a teacher gets suspended for two months because he's now, quote-unquote, a bully. He offended. Trying to... Well, I think think that goes with... I think that goes with... uh, If you look at parents nowadays, a lot of them are... You know, there's no stay-at-home parents. It's they're both working. When they come home, they don't want to hear, "Oh, you know, my son's not doing well because it's on. It's his fault. It's no. It has to be someone else." Like I, I fight with my wife on this all the time. Is you have to accept that our son is not Einstein. Like I love my son to death, but he's just your normal average kid. He's not. A don't listen to this he's kid. Not a science whiz. So you when do anything you want to, Abram. You're a genius, Abram. Yeah. We so, love you at least. It was it was a shocker in in kindergarten. Uh, the, we sat down with the school board and they're like, oh, hey, this is what Abram needs to work on. He's struggling with this. And we're like, oh, okay, well, what do we do? Do you guys have any recommendations? The entire staff just kind of looked at us like, wait, what? And I was like, oh, what's what's the problem? And this is Garden Grove Unified School District. Like, well, a lot of the parents, they'll come in here and they'll fight us. They'll say it's our fault. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, well, there's 33 kids in the class. You're not paying enough attention to him. It's like I came in. I'm like, hey, I know, you know, you have to be willing to work with people that are you know professionals and I think a lot of people can't do that because you don't want to hear you're you're not doing well I mean that's the same if you went to college and you're like yeah I got this exam I got it and you bomb it well you look for the reason why you bombed it it can't be that you weren't ready you weren't smart enough because we can't accept that mm-hmm. and I think that goes with kids nowadays too it's true no parents don't want to uh, well it's, it's the same thing with like parents who don't want to admit that their kids are autistic like it's 
I know that's a, that's a, another bag of cats right there. But well, then there's there's the reverse spectrum too. There's parents that are like f- trying to force someone to to label their kid autistic because they want to be that 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 mom that loves her, her special mom. needs kid. It really isn't special needs. Just that yeah, kid's so just a jerk. We're so selfish. <laughs> that's yeah, that's crazy. It's yeah. a, another thing, like too, with the the learning disabilities. We say like my kid has ADD. My kid has you know disabilities. He can't focus or whatever. But like you look back and like you know back when like my parents or your parents were growing up, it's like it was just a kid who had too much energy. It wasn't mm-hmm. there wasn't really a learning disability there. It was just a so we're we're also at the point where we start making excuses for people too, like, and that's another problem. And that so, goes back so. to JB's point. It's like, okay, well, Barso's being, you know, is not being sold. Okay, well, now whose fault is it then? Mm-hmm. It's not that people are, you know, adapting or changing the way they like like things. Like, there's people that still love Barso. They love Irish Spring because it floats. Uh, you know, what I mean, it's just, but you're just gonna blame someone else because, like, I'm I'm Ivory. You're not buying my Barso. It's your fault, Josh, because you want to use liquid soap. Even though you're still buying my brand of soap, it's not the bar kind. That's where I make more money off the bar kind than the liquid. As long as your pores. That too. But you know what I mean? So you're just trying to find someone to blame. So, you know, millennials are blaming the baby boomers because we don't have enough whatever it is. Or It's funny, though, because each generation has, like, screwed over the generation that comes after them. And we're like, we... You know, the, the I'm older, in a better place for everyone. I'm the older generation wants to blame us for stuff. We want to blame the, them for stuff, and it's like it's nobody's really taking account of like responsibility for any of it. Yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna have someone walk up. Yeah, it was our generation. Because that goes back to your point as of to who's wrong and who's right. Yeah. No one wants to be oh, wrong. No one wants to be right. Wow, what a dirty circular. Look at that. Way to bring it together, wow. JB. That sounds like an opinion, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think your opinion's wrong, sir. Oh, my God, tweet this. Yeah, yeah I'll tweet this. <laughs> Going to get in my Prius and drive home. <laughs> you really have a Prius? No, no, my wife does. <laughs> no. She's like, no, I drive a Ford F 450. The Ford F 10,000. F 10,000. I had a Ram until it got the Hemi tick, and it was just time for it to go. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then I bought a Kia Optima. I had it for like four, no, I drove it for five days, and it was an engine recall, so they had to put a new engine in it. <laughs> I have like, you no are the kiss of death with motors here, bud. You have keys? So I can Wait, touch you your car real quick. My, it's <laughs> not my car, it's a company car. So it's my it. Dodge to a Kia. Yeah, to yeah, do yeah. I was going from my tricycle to a dirt bike. Well, you know, the I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it a Dodge tricycle, but you know, I should try that. And you're Mister Mopar. Your whole family's Mopar. You just call it a Dodge and Mopar. tricycle. You... Mopar, no car. That's what my dad says. He move said he, if I ever bought a Japanese car, I couldn't Listen, park it in front of him. Move over, people are <laughs> racing. <laughs> Excuse me, can you? He doesn't own a Dodge. He owns an SRT. Is my dad a veteran? No, he's just a big Dodge guy. <laughs> okay, you can't, hey, you can't go wrong with Dodge. What's wrong? You can't go wrong with Dodge. You can't dodge or grandma. All right. Well, that was JB's topic. If you're tired of sifting through flea markets for rare and unique games, we can help. Retro City Games in Henderson, Nevada, only five minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, has all your favorite gaming staples, classics, and a wide selection of rare games with new stuff always appearing on our shelves. Come in and chat with Nicole or Doug about your love of games and watch as they help you complete your collection or find your childhood favorite. And don't forget, Retro City Games loves trade-ins. So if you have any Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Xbox, PlayStation, or even PC games, come in and visit Retro City Games today. Welcome to the new metropolis of gaming, Retro City Games. That's uh, to us people that can feel things, it, it, uh, it hurts.